Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Cook and Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with... I'm Eubank himself. Welcome to Edinburgh, my man. Uh, first time in the city, I believe. He's got his debut fighting on it. You excited? Very excited. Uh, I like Edinburgh so far. It looks beautiful. Uh, I was expecting, you know, to land in cloudy weather and the sun was out. You know, the green hills and some nice country walks. It's, uh, I feel at home here. Listen, that's, you brought the sunshine from Brighton, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Listen, you're up against uh, Ismail. I forgot his name already, but listen, he's a tough fighter. He's been in here, guys. People that don't know, he's fought guys like Craig McIntyre. And so he has came to these shows before and put on a performance. Now, for you, there was a lot made on that 17 and 0 and becoming 18 and 0. Now, when you get to that 17, 18, 19, 20 and 0, that's when we start talking about titles. That's when we start talking about competitive fights in arenas, big names. But you've got a job to do Friday night. That's it, it's, um, you know, them big opportunities, them big nights are all on the horizon. Um, but my full attention, you know, my full focus is Friday night um, in a good competitive fight against someone, you know, that, that comes to win, and as they always do when they fight me. You know, they always bring 110%. They always come to take that, you know, Eubank name. And um, I'm always prepared for that. You mentioned that Eubank name. Obviously, does that carry any pressure? I mean, with Chris and Chris Eubank Jr. and, and yourself, you carry that name. So, obviously, we know what Senior did in, in his time and what he did for British boxing, world boxing at that, the world titles that he held, the fights that he was in with Ben and all the rest of them. That Eubank name, does it carry any pressure for you? Uh, it definitely carries pressure, but it's how you, how you deal with that, how you convert that. And, um, you know, I've shown through my career that that I convert it and, you know, overcome the challenge in front of me. Opponents always come with that extra, you know, will to win, that extra, you know, that they haven't brought out in past performances. Um, and it's, it's always been about being prepared for that and um, that bringing out the best of me. Um, I've got to ask, like I said to you, when you start getting to the 17, 18, 19, 20 and all, that's when we start talking about these major titles. Um, you're in a 140 pound division domestically with O'Hara Davises and Dalton Smiths. Dalton Smith might be on your radar. He holds two belts that probably you want to hold at some stage in your career, the British and the Commonwealth. Are you looking at Dalton Smith? So now I'm looking at a lot of these guys, Smith being one of them. Um, I w you know, we're, we're all on our own paths and our own directions trying to collect the belts and you know and achieve success in the division so I think if we we all continue to do that there's going to be some huge fights there in the future and I'm really excited for them. That's what I mean if you just look at the world level and obviously with Josh Taylor I think he lo looks like he's moving up there's Jack Carroll still there at world level Regis Progre at world level you've got Devin Haney looking like he's coming up to world level you've got Rowley there you've got Harry Davis there you've got Dalton Smith and yourself coming through on that sort of scene that's coming up I mean for you you get, I mean, you said about excitement, but for me talking about it right now, you can see in my face, I'm excited about this division. So, I mean, what does that, when I rattle off these names to you, and the, I mean, you, like I said to you, that you're at that stage in your career now with maybe these fights only two, three, four fights away, maybe in 2024. What does that mean to you? Ah, uh, you know, it's, the, I, can, I can feel the excitement rising as you're talking. And, um, you know, it's just about staying focused and, and you know, showing and proving myself each and every fight. But this, you know, the division is really on fire. 140, like you say, the boys over here, the boys in America, um, a lot of the 135 is going up to 140 as well. There's some huge personalities, some huge fights, huge talents. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of that. And, um, you know, them fights, they can all happen. And you obviously stay in shape. I mean, if you need to go on your Instagram, you're on holiday, you look in shape. Wherever you are, you're in shape. So you obviously live and breathe this sport. Um, that being said, have we seen the best of you yet? I don't think so. You know, I think there's a lot more to come. There's a lot that I'm showing in the gym. There's a lot that I'm learning that is yet to, to come out on fight night. And it's about translating that. And these are the type of fights where you know, I need to translate it and um, yeah, show, show what I can really do and show, show my potential and, and where I can go in this sport. I've got to ask then, obviously, 
as a biased jock that I am, you're fighting in my home city. I've been at maybe eight, nine of your fights. I've been there from the start. And if, listen, Coogan, if he gets a world title fight, wherever it is, I'm on it. Tell him. And he's there. That's it. There's no, there's no debates. You know. My question is going to be, what can the Scottish fans live at the arena on Channel 5? What can we expect from Harlem Eubank on Friday night? They can expect, you know, first of all, a stacked card of boxing. Um, it's a great show, some great matchups, you know, and a world title fight for Lee McGregor. And um, from me, you're going to expect excitement, speed, um, an electrifying performance. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait. I'm excited that it's in my home city. We've got you, Lee McGregor, Isaac Lowe, we've got Aston Bram, we've got Big Matty Harris. I'm buzzing for it and I can't wait. I'll see you at the way in tomorrow, huh? And uh, listen, you want any recommendations for good restaurants? Come and hit me up and I'll sort you out. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking shell up.